We begin here. The United States and Iran are about to have their highest level talks in more than 30 years. Secretary of State John Kerry meets today with Iran's foreign minister, plus diplomats from five other countries. They are trying to restart negotiations over Iran's nuclear program. Iran's new president, Hassan Rouhani, tells The Washington Post he would like to reach a nuclear agreement in the next three to six months. In an interview yesterday, I asked Rouhani what Iran would be willing to give up to make a deal. So before there'll be some grand bargain, we need to deal to the nuclear issue. Are you prepared to reduce uh, the number of centrifuges you have at Iranian facilities in exchange for uh, loosening the sanctions? Well, these, I would say, are the details that should be examined further through the discussions that take place. What matters is that Iran must be able to uh, assert its rights, its legal rights. I'm speaking of under international law, and that the other countries must acknowledge Iran's rights under international law. And then, on the other hand, if there are any concerns specifically in our region about our program, it is Iran's responsibility to also address those concerns. As to the modality for that, that certainly will have to be discussed during the negotiations. But in any case, we don't want Iran to be an exception. We do not and want discrimination against Iran. We want Iran to be seen just like the rest of all other countries that have nuclear programs as well as enrichment programs. You've made a speech. The president has made a speech. There was no handshake, no bilateral meeting between you and the president. You suggested you didn't have enough time to plan for it. What's necessary for you to have a bilateral meeting with the president. Well, after all, we're speaking of two countries who have had no relations for 35 years. So it's clear that to begin talks requires some preparation work. And whenever the prep work is completed, I believe that it's possible to have a meeting. Uh, perhaps if we had more time here in New York, we may have been able to coordinate what was necessary for that meeting to take place. We must all admit, I believe, that the principle of, meeting, of the meeting of the two sides is indeed important. But perhaps more important than that is the result of a, such a meeting. So we must make every effort so that the first high official meeting between the two countries will definitely yield positive results. And I know you asked him to clear up this issue about hearing from an Iranian president condemn the Holocaust and acknowledge it. Indeed. We'll talk about that and many other things. We'll have more of that interview in our next hour.